All right, let's begin the program from the home front uh, where uh, the Lagos International Badminton Classics, of course, is back and making our return uh, to the Continental Shuttle um, after three years of pause uh, due to uh, the global coronavirus pandemic. It is the biggest badminton um, classics competition on the continent of Africa and it served off uh, Earlier today at the Molade Okoya Thomas Hall of the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Suru, Lire, Lagos. Well, the event is traditionally, um, it welcomes um, high-ranking players from all over the world, not just from Africa, making it the biggest in the African circuit. It is also uh, the, bat, I mean, the, 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 the badminton competition with the highest cash prize on the continent of Africa. Uh, in the fifth edition, that's uh, the last time the competition held, the cash prize, I recall, was $20,000. Uh, and the sixth edition, of course, uh, uh, perhaps the president of the Badminton Federation will be telling us how much the winner will earn on this occasion. Well, our correspondent, Emmanuel Akindubua, is live at the event at uh, uh, the Molade Okoya Thomas Hall in Suruliri. Uh, Emmanuel, glad to have you on the program this evening. And the Lagos Classics is back. How excited are the players about this development? Well, I promise the excitement here is uh, just uh, beyond what words can describe as the Classics makes a return after four years break uh, more than 140 athletes we hear from over 30 countries across the world have converged on lagos for the biggest badminton competition on the african continent well uh, the man who would be at the heart of this uh, is the president of the badminton federation of nigeria uh, mr francis obi who joins us uh, on the show this evening mr obi congratulations the classics is back and it's time for another shot to symphony yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we are very happy for the return. All right, let's talk about the tournament. Uh, what uh, will be expected to happen? Uh, let's talk about what has happened in the last four years where there is no competition and what the sixth edition will be bringing up. Well, uh, like we all know, 2019, uh, the COVID pa pandemic. And uh, after that, it's taking a, a lot of effort to get back or get life back to normal. So for three years, we've not had this uh, international badminton classics and uh, this year as a board and the badminton family generally in Nigeria is very happy that it's coming up, uh, coming back not just coming back but coming back in a very big way because this is an Olympic qualifier for next year's uh, Paris 2024 Olympics and uh, we have uh, up to 42 of our uh, Nigerian players in this competition it's an exposure for those of them who have not had the opportunity to go out. We have quite a few of the young, you know, junior players who are gradually going into the senior and they are coming here for the first time to face that quality of play. And then we have those who are on top there, the African champion, the national and the African number one, who is also on the road to Paris 2024. He's coming here to Ghana points to ensure his qualification. And a whole lot of top world players who are coming from all over the world to come and Ghana for points. Uh, give us an idea of the number of athletes who are here and how many countries are here for the three-day championship. Well, we have about 30 countries and in all about 148 or thereabout. But out of that, we have 42 who are Nigerian players. Well, the expectations would be that at least a Nigerian player should get to the penultimate stages. No Nigerian has won this tournament because an international classic been hosted in Lagos, but are uh, there optimism that this time around perhaps a Nigerian may be walking away with the prize money and the bragging rights? Well, uh, I tell people that it's a journey. Uh, this is the sixth edition, and like you said, rightly so, no Nigerian has won it yet, but we know that that day is coming. Yeah, if that day is going to come up this year, I cannot guarantee you, but one thing I'm sure of, from what I've seen so far, is that Nigeria is going to do better than it has done in any previous edition. Well, there's no tournament without the fans. We've seen a number of fans come out to watch uh, the games that have been ongoing. We've seen some very beautiful matches already. But what's your message to fans out there uh, who are lovers of badminton and who are looking forward to the classics? Well, for fans of badminton, the place to be is the Teslim Balogun Stadium through Lagos to see the best of badminton. 
But this call is not for only fans of badminton. For people who have not had the privilege, because it's a privilege to watch the beautiful game of badminton. If you've never had the privilege, this is an opportunity. So don't just go and watch it in a local, uh, in a local stage. Come here to an international stage where you have the best of the game going on. And I can tell you that the experience can never be the same. Well, a big thank you to you, Mr. Francis Obi, President of the Badminton Federation of Nigeria. And of course, we'll be monitoring events from the Classics. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Well, I promise that's it. Uh, the man at the eye of uh, the old, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say the man in the eye of the storm, but of course, is the man in the art of this Classics, which has dunked off in Lagos. And of course, we've seen some exciting matches, athletes from um, Italy, from Brazil, from India, South Africa, Uganda. Uh, I mean, uh, Slovenia are all here in Lagos, so it's a big, big international, and no doubt it's the highest ranked badminton event on the African continent. Promise. And well, before I let you go, can you talk us through the level of competition um, so far? You've been at the stadium for a couple of hours and you've seen the action. Um, how many Nigerians uh, are players have competed so far, and what's been the result for them like? Well, Nigeria's brightest hopes in this, in this competition, that is a men's category. I know Lua Kokwayori is yet to take onto the court. Uh, we expect him to play later today or tomorrow. Uh, but we see some very exciting talent uh, come on court and prove themselves. David, uh, I think, won his game uh, earlier today. We're playing a Norwegian tomorrow. Uh, like the president pointed out, we have 42 Nigerian at least uh, listed in the draw. So it's expected at least... Um, a few number of them should make it to the round of 32 and perhaps to the round of 16 and there anything can happen. So we keep our fingers crossed, but of course um, uh, uh, the message that the Federation is uh, rich, uh, preaching out there is that Nigerians should come and share their own. I think these athletes will feel more at home when they have more Nigerian fans cheering them on, uh, I mean pushing them to go all out and compete against the very best from every part of the world. It's a, it's a big tournament by every standard, and I think Nigeria will really make it count if the fans are out here cheering the, the players. Okay, Emmanuel, the, the last time this event held, the prize money was 20,000 US dollars. Uh, do you know if uh, that has changed? Well, uh, the, the president hasn't really come out to say this is what the prize money will be, but we know that there will be an improvement in that regard uh, because when you look at the number of international athletes who are here, it shows that there's really something valuable at stake uh, for the players. Uh, we've seen a lot of players, I mean, from the clips that we have already going on the screen, a lot of players uh, from Slovenia, Norway, uh, Sweden are here, and they're competing not just for the prize money, ranking points on the road to Paris is also here. Uh, uh, and the word that the president of the Federation, who is the chairman of the local organizing committee, has said is that um, uh, there's a lot of improvements from what we had four years ago, so we can trust that uh, uh, the prize money will also be one of the improvements uh, for this edition. Promise. Okay, Manuela Kindubua, our correspondent live for us from the uh, Teslim Balogun Stadium where the sixth edition of the uh, Lagos Badminton Classics is uh, ongoing at the moment. Thank you so much uh, for talking to us on the program.